Good morning, Arizona. Our drone footage of this beautiful Paradise Valley neighborhood uh, right against Mummy Mountain. It's really prime Arizona real estate and uh, you're going to enjoy the views from above and you're going to enjoy the lifestyle that you could be indulging in inside some of the little amenities, let's call them, of a luxury home like this really make life and life's daily chores and obligations a lot easier. One of the things we wanna talk about is laundry. Every laundry room should have a space where you can hang your clothes. So say you don't live in a mansion with a gigantic, beautiful <laughs> laundry room like we're about to see. You can also feel very organized in spite of the size of your space. Bridges Connor is an organizational expert. She is joining us this morning. First off, wow, right? Have you ever seen a laundry room like this? No. It is no, so and I don't I work in a lot of laundry rooms <laughs> like this, but this is amazing. So this is, I would say, I don't know, uh, seven times the size of mine. Maybe not. Maybe four times the size of mine. And I feel like I'm real crowded in there. You got the dog food in there. You got a lot of other <laughs> stuff that I probably should find a better space for. What do we want to think about when we're organizing a laundry room? Well, okay, so back to the point that you just mm -hmm. made, people don't normally have this much space. Yes. So what you have to be careful of is um, this much space can be detrimental to the organization. Oh, right, you feel you don't have to organize because right. you have so much space, so you, there's a lot of cabinets You here. just shove things. So okay. if you remember to do, keep like with like and store it where you use it, it'll make life a lot easier. Okay, let's start with the hanging rack. You want every laundry room to have at least one rod where you can hang your laundry. Well, absolutely, after that comes out of the dryer, or you want to be able to hang it. So um, I like this particular one. It's mobile, um, so it really depends upon your space. Okay. Um, I have one like this at home, and so the, my kids can roll it in and put their clothes right. away. I can hang it out of the out of the dryer. Of course, this room has a built-in one right behind the door with plenty of space. Right. And if you're coming in from the dry cleaners as well, a lot of people like to hang it. Some people are worried about the chemicals. They want it in a separate space. I imagine that you take off the plastic and all of that right away. Take off the plastic, and absolutely. What about the hang? You know, people that do a lot of dry cleaning, mm -hmm. I'm about making it easy. Okay. So, you know, I would not switch out the hangers. Immediately. No. Mm -hmm. But you do like this style. I do like the velveteen hangers because okay. they're a lot thinner. Things don't slip. So absolutely. Okay. Tell me what we need to have in our own space. Well, Show I'm, me around. Okay. So I am all about storing it where you need it. Okay. So the trash can for the lint, whatever the case may be. <laughs> That's such a good point. You know, it's Instead just, of letting them sit on top of the dryer like I do. Right. Okay. We're just throwing it wherever, yes. not having a place. So everything needs to have a home. Okay. So just find something nice and quaint. Okay, okay, perfect. The other thing, again, storing it where you use it is, you know, it is right next to where you are using the washer and dryer. Right. So it's really, really important to have things at your fingertips. Okay, so make it make sense. Make it make sense, absolutely. And so sometimes there's some storage spaces that are, for me, obviously, a lot is out of reach. <laughs> um, utilize that, just have a step stool, or just write this space off. You know, things like that, need to be things that you don't get to on a regular okay. basis. Not, I'm not going to need it daily. Right. You're okay. not going to need it daily. So if you, you know, usually the laundry room is near the kitchen. So your crock pots or the, the, um, roasters that you the use for Thanksgiving okay, can go up high. Great. Bridges, yes. thank you so much. How do people get in touch with you if they, they, they need some help at home? So go to my website, okay. www.getorganizedwithbridges.com. And I'd love to I'll be on there later today. I'm okay. having a lot of laundry room shame. I can see those, uh, those dusty little um, dryer sheets you thrown all about. Uh, Kim, you are outside. You don't have to worry about laundry. You're enjoying the sunshine. Good morning.